Translating the Lines I am Parvane Farid and today is 14th of May 2011 and the subject of translating the lines. Yet again, I am looking at every corner of my mind to find out why we behave in the way we do. As I understand, there are three aspects to our existence, body, mind, and spirit. On the body level, to be means to continue to exist. We continue our existence in two different ways. Firstly, we look after our bodies, hence our body lives longer. Secondly, we, p- we pass on our genes, so we extend our lives by living in somebody else's body, or our characteristics uh, get a further chance to live in another body. Curiosity is an aspect our, of our basic instinct, which makes us search for food, shelter, and develop skills to fight enemies. It also helps us to find a suitable partner to pass on our genes. That is to find the healthiest member of the opposite sex who is the carrier of a set of healthy genes. Finding the member uh, or a suitable member of the opposite sex is only one side of the coin of success, of course, and the other side of the coin of the success is to demonstrate and convince uh, the other party that we are also a carrier of healthy genes. In doing that, we endeavor uh, to look healthy and to move in a healthy way. Any site of approval by the member of the opposite sex of our choice uh, could be regarded as a sign of uh, confirmation that our genes can live longer. Uh, That means we have managed to provide our genes with a further chance of survival. In other words, uh, we exist in the long term. That is why on this level of our existence we seek confirmation regarding our attractiveness at all times. A healthy career appears to be beautiful. In other words, we misplace beauty and health here. Beautiful appearance and pleasant movements becomes the sign of a career of uh, healthy genes. And that appears to be the reason for developing eyes for beauty, which leads us to having appreciation for beauty as well. This is one side of the Uh, or one bit of the jigsaw puzzle of the arts and religion. To find food, shelter and suitable members of the opposite sex, our curiosity makes us move. Movement creates invisible lines. The invisible lines are the result of changes of the position of a phenomenon against a constant point, which in our case is the center of the gravity of the earth, in time, of course. These invisible lines are then registered by the medium of the canvas of our memory or a format which can document the trace of these movements, such as brush, paint, and an artist's canvas. The beautiful movement means pleasing positioning 
and repositioning of various parts of our body against the center of gravity of the earth in time. By doing that, we generate sets of stylized invisible lines, which are registered on the canvas of our memory, as mentioned earlier. The trace of these invisible lines could also be recorded um, in form of various art formats, such as drawing, painting, and sculpting, or just in form of pure documentation of some events on the creation uh, of the creation of stylized line, like um, music notations. We may notice that visible lines are just a form of registration of the trace of the invisible lines by the means of some tools and skills which we may develop and employ. Having developed eyes for beauty and mind to appreciate it, we continue to generate beautiful formats beautiful forms and objects regardless uh, of its connection to the origin or, or the original reason for our appreciation for beauty and by repetition it becomes a happy habit and the religion uh, and the origin and the relevance of beauty and health here is disguised. Hence, we begin to create beauty for the sake of beauty. Now, as I said, the other aspects of our being is our mind. Previous, previously, I thought uh, to move in order to imprint on the environment and to leave trace behind was to do with an urge to prove our, our, to our, ourselves and to the environment that we exist. Now, however, I'm developing some doubt about this statement and I tend to think that movement and leaving trace behind is more to do with our curiosity, which is basically an aspect of our basic instinct. So we can find food, shelter and suitable partners. In time, our curiosity develops and becomes an independent entity, which asks questions and also learns to make equipments and tools. Here the, phenomenon, the, here the phenomenon of memory becomes here the phenomen, phenomenon of beauty uh, I'm sorry here the phenomenon of memory becomes more important and plays a vital role. The repetition of pleasing experience becomes meaningful and encourages us to try to remember our endeavors leading to that experience in order to achieve the same pleasure again. Here we begin to understand the relevance between cause and event, cause and effect. Hence we begin beginning to think our thoughts are registered on the canvas of our memories, creating trace of the invisible lines of events. On this level of existence, we also need confirmations and responses from others. Hence, we begin to develop means of communication, language and alphabet, so we can register our thoughts on other people's mind and or leave trace of our invisible lines of thoughts behind in form of hard copies. Developing the means of communication and registration of the invisible lines of thoughts together with the development of the sense 
and appreciation uh, for demonstration of beauty leads us to creation of poetry and literature which is an artistic registration form of the stylized line of thoughts, developing techniques which enables us to demonstrate the invisible lines of our thoughts to others is somehow a similar mechanism to the one which encourages us to look attractive as a physical entity. On the mental level, we need confirmations from other people to be reassured that our existence on this level is recognized and approved. Our identity, therefore, forms around the notion of being accepted and approved by other people as a body and mind entity. The spiritual aspects of our existence um, to me is when a turning point occurs in our mental life which causes the invisible lines of thoughts become active on a high level of existence. Even though the religion tries to convince man that their spiritual existence is only guaranteed when the absolute center of the spirituality of the universe approves them. Thank you.